Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I have a great video on personal finance regarding compound interest. I'm going to use Microsoft Excel. So I read an article that was talking about just investing early. And the example was they were comparing two people. The first person started investing at 19 and for eight years, they put up $2,000 every year. So from 19 to 26, I'm right over here, age 19 to 26, there is the $2,000. This is a screenshot from the article. And they were saying at age 65, even after 26, you don't put any more money in, you'll have two point, roughly $2.3 million. There's age 65. If you notice, they're putting nothing else up. There's where they come up with $2.3 million. The other person they were comparing to does not start investing early. So from 19 to 26, they put up $0. And then every year after that, which is 39 years, they put up the 2000. They actually have significantly, significantly less money at the end of the 65 years or then at the age of 65, they'll have 1.532. So first thing I thought is, okay, what's the interest rate? It went on to say that the interest rate was 12%. I'll talk about it being 12% in a second, but I wanted to crunch the numbers in Excel and then give you a file that you can use the rest of your life because if you're in your 30s and you haven't started investing, it's not too late, the same as if you're in your 40s or 50s. So you can use this to see how much money you'll have and you can even tweak the interest rate. So let me set this up real quick for you. There's age 19. We need to go to 65. Home tab. I'm just going to go quickly fill the series. I'm going to fill it down the column. And I want to stop at 65. I'm at 19 right now. There you go. 19 to age 65. Starting off, we put zero. Starting off, we had zero. So I put a zero in cell B2. Our investment from the age 19 to 26, that's eight years, we're going to put in 2,000 bucks. Let me just do a little formatting, keep this nice and clean. We're earning 12% interest. I've already put that in cell I1. So it's going to be the sum. I know I have nothing in cell B2, but you want to include it. B2 through C2. And then I'm going to multiply that times the 12%. Make it absolute reference with the F4 function key. 12% of 2000 is $240. I threw in column E because I wanted to. I want to know what's my total interest. That is going to be the sum of D2 through D2. I'm going to make the first one, though, an absolute reference and freeze it. F4 right there. Close. I should get 240, obviously. Ending balance is one more sum function. I'm going to sum up the start, the investment, and the interest. B2 to sell D2, 2,240. So whatever I ended up with in year, the very first year at 19, by the way, it matches that little screenshot I did, that will be where I start the next year. So there's a 3D reference for you, equals F2. There's my 2,000. I should be able to autofill that down one time. $509 in interest for year two because compound interest, you're earning interest on your interest. So total interest should be 749. That's the sum of those two numbers in D2 and D3. And therefore my ending balance should match what's over in that screenshot and it does. Uh, to be honest with you, I can just start auto filling. Let's do that. Double hit crosshairs, double click, highlight all three, double click. Not required, I'm just going to leave it blank, but this is just me. I actually want to see zeros in here, so I typed in two zeros, crosshairs, double click. I need to end up at age 65 with 2.288996, or actually 
288.996. There it is right there. Cell F48. So we are good to go. <clears throat> My issue with this article was the 12%. Um, from what I've understood and what my knowledge of investing, the S&P 500 does roughly approximately 10%, give or take. I've seen other people say it does around eight and a half, but I'm gonna leave this at 12%. The whole purpose was person B doesn't put anything in the first eight years, but for 39 years, they put in 2000, they have less. Let's see if that's true. This is gonna be really simple. Click in this first range and do a control A, it highlights it. Copy it. I'm gonna put it in L with a enter. I'm look, I'm gonna change those two thousands, there's eight of them, to zero. That's control enter. And then two thousand control enter for the next thirty-nine. I should get around one point five three two. 1.532, there you go, 1,532,000. So it's true what the article said, but that was based on 12% interest. But I kept thinking that interest rate's really high. If you're asking me, let's go do 9%. Let's see what we end up with. 673,000 versus 692,000. The Moral of the story is invest early if you can and keep investing no matter what. Uh, I like index funds. You have to figure out how you want to invest. But what's nice about what I gave you is you can come over here and use this table over here to the left because hopefully if you're in your late 30s, 40s, or 50s, you're putting in more than $2,000 a year. You can come over here and start throwing in numbers because maybe you put in 20,000 at 44, 25,000 at 45, 30,000 at 46, whatever. Feel free to punch those in. I'll put this file on my YouTube uh, description. Hope you enjoyed it. Compound interest is the way to go. Albert Einstein had a quote about it. Um, the most powerful force in the universe is compound interest. That was an Albert Einstein quote that I hope I didn't butcher. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Coming up next week is, uh, next week will be uh, February 3rd, 2020. I'll probably have this video out. Microsoft Excel and Word. PowerPoint, they have a new feature for Office 365. If I add an at mention, for example, in a Word document or an Excel file, you'll get emailed about it. When you open up the email, you can actually respond to my comment within the email, and it gives you a preview of what I'm asking about. So if it was Excel, I might be asking, is this number correct for the fiscal year 2021? Or if it's a Word document, I might be asking about a paragraph we wrote about a customer or a product, want some clarification. That's it. Have a good weekend. Thank you.